Good morning, family. I want to thank God. I want to thank King Jesus. I want to thank the Holy Spirit and the angels for another day, another opportunity to be here with you to spread love, peace, joy, truth, and hope to all who are watching. Praise God. So, family, do you have a personal relationship with God or do you have a religion? Well, you know, for me, you know, growing up, I only knew, uh, I only had a religion. And, you know, and I was afraid of God. And, but now I have a personal relationship with God, and I love God, and I don't fear God, you know, because I move in love. And, you know, God said he's changed the world from fear back to love. So why would God want you to fear him? He want, Because he knows he get more, you know, from you, you know, through love instead of fear. You know, you don't have to touch that hot stove because, you know, you're afraid it's going to burn you. You know, you use your intelligence, and, and, and you respect that the, fire, that the stove can burn you. You know, use a little some intelligence, just like, you know, when I was teaching people how to drive a truck, you drive a, a truck on ice. When you're driving on ice you, you, and you're driving in fear, you're all tense. And, you know, if you make any, any uh, jerky moves, you know, you lose control and, you know, you can wreck. But when, when you're driving on ice and you respect and know that it can kill you, then, uh, you know, you're more relaxed and you're not going to make, you know, no jerky moves. And, and, you know, you have more control of the truck of, and not wrecking. So, you know, God wants us to move in love, not fear, because he said, I'm changing the world from fear back to love. So God knows he get more out of you. You know, you'll be more useful if you're moving in love instead of fear, because Satan uses fear. Why would God use something that Satan uses? God, God is higher than that, you know, and, and love, you know, and respect is an aspect of love and fear is fear. So, you know, Move in love instead of fear. Have that personal with God. Like I say, you know, I used to used to fear, you know, I, I used to be motivated by fear because, you know, when I was uh, in religion, you know, I was like, why am, you know, if God is love uh, and and but my motivation from doing for doing the right thing is fear of going to hell. That didn't sit right with me. But when uh, God put, you know, two enlightened beings in my in my path. And they taught me how to cultivate a personal relationship with God. You know, they taught me how to uh, meditate and to incorporate spiritual principles in my life. And they taught me, you know, to forgive and make amends because all these things cleans off our relationship with God. And, you know, then we have that clear channel and that communicating with him. Because like I say, you know, when you pray, you're talking to God. And when you meditate, you're listening to God. So, you know, I had to learn how to listen. And, you know, and it took a while, you know, so it through the through the prayer and praying and meditating, you know, I, I I was praying and meditating for three months and one and one morning after after praying, I was meditating. God showed up and introduced me to who I am. Now I know who I am. That's only through having a personal relation with God. Do you know who you are? If you don't, you can. You know, seek God's face. He'll show up. Those are his words. And and God doesn't lie. And he has something to show you. And you know, and once, you know, I cultivated that per cultivated a persuasion with God and God showed me who I am, you know, it opened up a whole new life for me. And, you know, God has that for you. There's more that God has for you than, than you know, this body, you know, in its mind. There's a whole nother side of you, which is spirit. But we have to cultivate that. We have to tend to it, you know, like a little baby. We have to feed it, you know, and we feed it with love. We feed it, we feed it with, with moving in love. And, you know, and, and, and incorporating, you know, like I say, spiritual principles and forgiving people and, and, and making amends and, and you know, and, and asking and just moving, you know, all things in love. And, you know, and then take a responsibility for your actions and then trying to help someone else because, you know, we're all one in the body of God. So, you know, let's move in love. Let's incorporate, you know, spiritual principles. Let's have that personal relationship with God. And not only do we heal, when we start healing you know, because love heals, fear destroys, and God wants you to heal. And, you know, and, and only through love can we heal. So, you know, we, when we incorporate, you know, spiritual principles, when we incorporate spiritual principles, we start healing. And, you know, and it hurts, you know, a lot when you start healing, you know. Uh, so, you know, incorporate spiritual principles and uh, pray and meditate, you know, and seek God's face and he'll show up and he will help you heal. But anyway, that's all I had today, family. Let love reign in your life. There's no relationship greater than the one with our loving and glorious creator. Thank you for watching. God bless you. And have a very, very blessed day. Bye.